I'm very happy. So how are you? Oh, I am so good. You know, you have been on the Eurovision circuit for so long. You are an idol, honey. People, oh, no. no. Really, even abroad, because I go to Eurovision in concert every year, and I always see you on that stage slaying. Oh, uh, well, thank you. I'm also so happy and uh, that people at least like it that I'm uh, still in the picture somewhere. <laughs> From Flavoland to the world, she is a lady of soul, a host of Eurovision in concert, a singer, a Eurovision veteran, and a host of Eurovision Europe Shine a Light. It's Ed Celia Roundley! <laughs> wow, what an introduction. I feel honored. Thank oh, you. Oh, the honor is with us, honestly. Fans love you, they adore you, they're rediscovering your songs like Heaven and Earth. Thank you. It's great to hear that because it's been like it's 1998. You can imagine so long ago, and people still remember that. So I'm very glad that they still still do. Yeah. It's aged very very well. I, I, because there's so much love for you, we have to ask you: How are you coping in quarantine and lockdown? Oh, it's terrible. I, every day I wake up and thinking like, what? kind of terrible movie is this this nightmare we're living in at this moment but i'm trying to like stay positive i'm working on an album um and i'm recording stuff in the studio it's uh it's gonna be a dutch album i mean but still people should still keep checking me out but um so i'm recording a lot and i just moved into a new house so i have a lot of stuff to fix still uh boxes that i need to sort out and so i've been very busy with moving and uh and while we can is still the studio so i'm i'm happy that i can still make music you know that that yeah. keeps me like uh, positive and lift it makes me forget the terrible things like uh for a few hours <laughs> music heals so that's good and the show you're hosting this weekend of course europe shine a light how yeah. does ed zelia shine a light during this lockdown well, just stay and be pretty. <laughs> ah, no, it's um. Uh, how do I still shine the light? I mean, you mean also the Saturday, the the show when the show is going on. What we're we gonna do? Or yeah, that's let's go that way. Well, you know, I just try to um, enjoy the moment. You know, it's something very special. I think people should really remember that. Um, this whole event is something unique, you know, Europe, a lot of countries, different cultures come together. And even when we're so far from each other and at this moment, we're at the same, we have the same disaster in every country. It's like a, a terrible situation going on. So uh, we have a connection. We have, and that's this time it's more uh, special that we feel that, you know, it's, it's like really, um, yeah, so I, I'm going to be there and I'm going to try to be the good host, of course, with Chantal and Jan. And we're going to talk through everything. We have some nice connection with other artists, old winners from the Eurovision. And we're going to see all the videos from all the contestants from this year. Um, so I'm going to be like also enjoying because I haven't seen all the acts yet. So I will be like enjoying myself. There will be no audience. There will be no applauding. And so it's going to be strange, but still, I think we can feel each other close and nearby because of this whole situation we're in. So I will shine um, through this camera thing we're going to have and hope people will feel that we are trying to do something good and nice for this event because it's it, it was a disaster hearing it that it was not going on uh, anymore. So uh, I'm glad that the Netherlands uh, still do this for the artist so that they can still shine because it's all about the contestants. I feel so bad for them. They've been working so hard to um, to work and make a nice show. So And everything is like uh, tumbled down. So I'm glad that they still have a spotlight and that we can still show everyone that that was the song they were supposed to sing. And will you be with the other host in a studio or are you at home during the show? No, we have like a big, big uh, space. It's the Studio 21. It's in Hilversum. It's on the media park. So we'll be standing like one meter and a half from each other and there will be big screens. It's like a big, big hall. So we have a lot of space 
um, to stand. So I will be waving to Chantal <laughs> and I hope she'll be waving to me and Jan. So. And where were you when you got the news Eurovision was canceled? How did you learn about it? Um, I was recording and um, uh, I was preparing myself mentally because uh, everybody was looking forward to this Eurovision uh, contest, of course. But when the Corona news came, um, I thought, this is gonna end differently because um, some countries, people were, some countries locked down before the Netherlands. So I knew that uh, not all the artists would be able to come here. So I prepared myself mentally. And when we really heard the news, I was like, yeah, of course, it's a world disaster. What can we imagine? I mean, health comes first, of course. So I was, um, yeah, I, I was sad about it, but I understood it. And it was logical for me. It was logical. You cannot have a big event like this happening if there is a world crisis. And later on, we noticed that it was not even possible. And what were your thoughts for jean Gu McCroy? Well, that's... Uh, I thought... Um, First, I was like, it was such a bummer because finally it was in the Netherlands. The European Song Contest in the Netherlands. So I was like, ah! And then we had such a nice guy, Jean Gu, singing that beautiful song. Um, but I knew that if it's going to be next year, we still, you know, still keep the fingers crossed. Uh, but if it will be next year, I knew that the Netherlands will keep him. You know, I knew that they would say he's going to sing the song next year again. That 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 should have happened and it's going to happen. So I'm happy. And um, and I hope I, I, I hope he will enjoy uh, as much, I think he will enjoy even more. Now, I think everybody will enjoy even more because it now everything didn't go on. I think uh, we now realize how special it is and that next year we will like enjoy it double, triple. What's another year? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and for you as the host, having to suddenly switch all your plans because you were practicing one thing and then it's like, whoosh, was that difficult for you? Um, yes and no, because I was mentally preparing myself for it. I was so excited. I've never presented something big like that. I was like, oh my God, did they really ask me? Are they sure they asked me? So I was like, but I loved it because it's an event that I know I've been there twice, you know? So I was really honored and I'm so happy to do that. But, um, but I blocked everything. So I didn't have any performances. I had nothing else, only the song contest, what I was focusing for. So when it left, when it, when my agenda was like blank, I was also like, okay, now I can take a deep breath because I was so busy before everything was happening. My agenda was so full and the, and the moving, you know, because I, I was moving and I was like, how am I going to do that? And I had a big concert in the Concertgebouw and I was like, Okay, I gotta study for that one too. So how I'm gonna? So I was already panicking, like how am I gonna put my time, schedule my time? So when it's when when I was off, when I had uh, the space to do everything, I was like, okay, that's good. Everybody, take it easy now, and we can like breathe. Mm. So it wasn't that difficult because I uh, I'm a person that can chill very good. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, if I can take it easy, I will take it easy. Oh, I'm living for this vibe. <laughs> and so, hashtag open up. We've got to talk about this because you were born in Lelystad, but you have strong connections to the Caribbean, I believe. Yes, I was born in Amsterdam oh. and I was raised in Lelystad. And my parents, my mother is from Aruba and my father Curaçao. So, uh, and I've been there a lot, uh, the Caribbean. I love the islands and... Um, they they have they are really struggling also with this uh, situation right now, um, but um, yeah, I I love this this hashtag open up because I love it when different cultures, different backgrounds, different you know uh, people with other ideas come together and 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 I want people to exactly open up for other situations and other um, creative things and. Um, so I like the slogan. I liked it a lot. Um, I hope I hope also that people will, um, yeah, we can still learn about a lot of things. And I hope people will still keep opening up for other situations and other, you know, mindsets. You mustn't, you don't have to agree with everything. 
but it's good to open up and just be open for it. And do we know yet? Is Edzilia Rombly hosting the next edition of Eurovision? Yes. <laughs> Even if they don't want to, I will be there. <laughs> yes, Chantal, me, and Jan. Um, they they told everyone already that that they will keep Shangu and they will love to work with me and Chantal and Jan. So I I think I will be there. Oh, excellent! You can open up again. This is fantastic <laughs> news. Yes. You of course hosted the best of anger Netherlands. Yeah, that's cute. You're saying it cute. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard your language. But you have encountered all these great singers, heard so many good songs. I'm curious if you were to cover Eurovision songs like you had to cover like three, which ones would you go to? Oh gosh. Oh, that's difficult. Uh, well, I'll take you back to 1998, Imani, where oh. are you? UK. Yeah. And I covered it already. It's on my album. I, I covered it already. I have an album, Piano Ballads, and uh, I love that song. And I even called my daughter Imani because I was so fan of her. I loved her. So I would cover that one. I would love this. I love the song from Lorene with oh. Euphoria. And uh, what's another year? Maybe what's another year from? Yeah, I think I'll do. Uh, I'll do him. Yeah. Will we hear you in the sing-along this weekend? Um, I can't say anything about it. Ah, okay. Hear me sing. I mean, you won't hear... Uh, there's a few things that's going to happen, so I got to keep some surprises. I understand the Lady of Soul knows how to deliver. I will not prod. <laughs> One thing that surprised me when I was researching you Huggy Bird on the Magisha Toverballen? Oh, that's cute. Uh, <laughs> As I butcher your language, apologies. Magisha Toverballen. Yeah, I, that was a project I did a few years ago. There was a, 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 a book that I wrote. I wrote the story of that book. And the bottom line was, be happy with yourself. Doesn't matter. It's like a little bird. And I said, Magisha Toverballen. That means like you have candy and they change the color when you suck on it. It sucks and then you ch it changes from color. And those are those sweet balls that you had, like I had it years ago. So I made a story that uh, the balls, they change the color. And every time when it changes the color, that little bird changes into an animal that has that color. So when it became pink, it changes in a pig. And when it became like white, it changed in a sheep. Um, and then at the end, it was like, just be happy who you are. That little blue bird is, is just perfect enough because that bird was not satisfied with who he was and wanted to be like all of those other animals. Like, oh, the pigs, they can roll in dirt. Oh, I love that. Oh, the sheeps, they sleep all day or, you know. So and then at the end, he was very happy being himself, the happy singing bird. So that was the kind of line of the story. You are shining the light over Skype, honestly. This, no. jo this joy, this happiness. What is your secret? What is Edzilia's secret to living? Wow. I love people. So it happens. You give, I, I give back. So mm. that what, that's what happened. That, that happens with me. And that's why I think it's a little bit, uh, I'm like a little bit, how you say, excited. I don't know if the excitement is the word, but... Um, scary because we have no audience you know we have no audience and audience they feed me that's how i breathe because of you people uh you make me happy and i'm gonna try even though we don't see anybody really through that camera that is filming us i will try and do my best to reach you all uh because uh, i live from people audience that's why my living is performing and mm. that's what I do. So, and that's where I get my energy from. And uh, yeah, I like people. So if you're good vibes, I give you good vibes back. So this shining thing is also you, I think. Speaking of good vibes, your sister-in-law, Trencha Oosterhuis. <laughs> Oosterhuis. Yeah. There you go. Do y'all talk about Eurovision? Do you watch the show together the night of the final usually? No, no, no. We, um, she lives uh, somewhere else and um, not nearby, but not that far. But she really is so busy with her career thingy thingy. So we like we text once in a while. We text and we don't see each other that much. Uh, we wish to see each other more. But um, 
But no, we don't. I don't, I watch here. Sometimes I'm performing. I'm not even home when the Eurovision uh, is busy. So I try to follow it uh, in my car with my phone, or I call home who did good, and you know to keep posted. Um, but when we're home, I'm really with my kids and my husband, and sometimes my mother-in-law comes, and uh, uh, and then we check it out. Oh. And with fried on the table and with li lots of snacks. I, I try to make something fun of it. Well, you seem like a party woman. It, I can just see you all day from the time you wake up, just being like, hey, I'm going to work. I'm going to Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoy life, though. That's true. Yeah. And yeah. we enjoy your 1998 song, Heaven and Earth. Can we hear just a little before we go? Really? Yes. Oh, crazy. <clears throat> Hemel en aarde bewegen als je voor me staat. Het is voor mij bewezen dat het lot bestaat. Hemel en aarde gaan open als je mij aanraakt. Ik wilde nooit geloven, maar er is meer tussen hemel en aarde. With zero warm-up. Not even a glass of water. You're just boom. Uh, Edzilia Rombley, it's been a total pleasure. We're sending you so much love. It's just a beautiful thing that you get to be the vessel to bring Europe together this weekend. It's an honor you deserve, and we are so happy for you, and we'll be happy to watch you. Thank you. These are nice words. Thank you so much. This is the truth. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. You don't need it. You slay. <laughs>